So you want to learn how to add work animation on this IK rig model easily? Let's learn this. In the last video, we had learned this. So the purpose of the last video was to teach you a little bit about IK bone setup. If you haven't seen that video, then definitely watch it. So let's delete these two legs and select the armature of this leg and go into the pose mode and remove child of constraint. Now go to top view and select all then move on x axis around here. Change pivot point to 3D cursor. Make sure that your 3D cursor is in the world origin. Select all then press shift D to duplicate. Now press R, Z then type 45. Then press shift R to repeat the action 6 times. You can see we have got 8 legs here. Now change to median point. After this add any type of empty in the center. Now select all armature and go to pose mode. Then add child of constraint to these upper ones one by one as in the previous video. Then target with empty. After all this, move empty and check everything is ok or not. Now it's time to add busy circle. Then rotate it on X axis. Now scale circle 2 times. After this, go into the edit mode and select this segment and change pivot point to 3D cursor. Then press S Z 0. Now select these segments and press V then change to vector. And dissolve this segment by pressing delete. Let's select this and press G to move this handle right here. Make changes in this one also. And increase path resolution to 32 from here. After all this, select this armature and go to the pose mode then select this one. And add follow path on bone constraint. Target with circle. Now we need to apply all transform of circle to fix this problem. So select the circle and apply all transform. Let's change offset to see it's working or not. Now it's time to add this follow path constraint to all the remaining armature. So select all armature then go to the pose mode and select these bones. And make sure that you have selected this in the last. Now come over here and click on copy to selected. Now hold alt and change offset. So as you can see it's working very well. Now click on animate path and play. If these legs are following path in wrong direction like this. Then select circle and go into the edit mode and click on switch direction. Now it's working properly. Let's change FPS to 60. And change path animation frame to 50. So as you can see it's moving fast. If you look here, you will find that all the legs are above the surface. And it should not happen that the all legs move together. Let's fix this. Select these four armature. Now go to pose mode. And then hold alt and change offset values around here. Now play and check everything is working properly or not. After all this process, add one more empty, move on Z axis. Now select all armature, node objects. Then select the second empty and press Ctrl P and choose object keep transform. Let's parent this empty with object keep transform. Now if you move the upper one everything follows it. So it's time to add path. Now select the empty and add follow path. Then target with path. Click on animate path. Now play. As you can see it's following path in wrong direction. 
So simply rotate your path in 180 degree or switch its direction. Now I've seen the speed of the walking the legs and the speed of its forward movement are not matching. So how to fix it? Just simply select your path and change frames to 20. See how easy it is. Now just one more thing. Select this empty and split window like this and add keyframe on location like me. Now change to graph editor and select Z location. Now go to modifier and add noise modifier. Now change these values like me and find the best result. Now it's looking nice. So just simply copy this modifier from here then paste on X and Y location and make changes in offset. And now this working animation is completed. Add any object on the top of it and parent with the second empty. If you like this video then give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more like this and goodbye guys.